It's for my thesis menu. documentation. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, I'm going to turn it on. And to load the paper, mm -hmm. you're going to, there's a lever on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to push that up, mm -hmm. which lets me load paper in. And then push it down. Okay. And then these guides on the left and the right of the paper, mm -hmm. if I had a smaller size paper, I could bring one in. Mm -hmm. okay. Make sense? So I'm gonna wait for one more minute for it to load. It's Everest in five. It's British. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It makes, makes, makes us take it more longer. seriously. Yeah. <laughs> so I am hit menu. Open then load. And then I'm gonna arrow down Print. until it says Braille layout, and I'm going to right arrow. Edit active layout four. And I'm going to arrow up select to select active, active layout. layout, and I'm going to hit the OK in the center. OK, select active layout four, letter. Portion. So it's set to letter. Time. I'm going to arrow down Double and set side. it to 11 and select a half by 11. Active. Layout three, 11 and a half by 11 inches portions. And I'm going to hit OK. Layout three. It's and okay one more time. Okay. And that's it. My paper no size function. is set. Right. Although now I have to set it in the tactical software. Okay. Up here we try to stock all the paper in the world that you can want. There's more paper in the closet. We've got eight and a half by eleven letter size. Mm -hmm. We have eleven and a half by eleven and we have tabloid. Hmm. So I'm gonna go to the start menu and type in the first couple letters of tactile view. Sure. And using the menu, I'm going to set the paper size. So I'm going to go to the design menu mm -hmm. and go to design format and resolution. And it too is set to letter. And I'm going to set it. set it to portrait or landscape. I'll worry about that later once I actually have a design. Um, and I will, um, I'll show you, and Antonio also knows a lot about menu-driven design, which is how we can put in labels and geometric shapes and lines without the mouse using um, menu-driven design, mm -hmm. using a bunch of dialog boxes. Mm -hmm. We also have the ability to scan images in bring images in from a file and to, we have a digitizing pen that has a tactile drawing tablet. The thing is, for the way that blind people draw, which involves a lot of tracking with the other hand, sometimes that gets in the way of the view of the digitizing pen, so that's not something that we're really foregrounding at this moment. Mm. Um, it's not as robust as we, we hoped. Um, so menu-driven design and scanning things in are great ways to, to compose non-visually. Um, but I think, Jill, you're probably on a little bit of a time crunch, so do you want to go first with yeah, the mouse-driven design? Yeah, that would be great. Thank you. And I'm going to switch places with you then. Okay. So are you guys...